Hey guys, it's Grace, and today I'm going to be doing a haul video. So, for you guys who didn't know, my birthday was a few weeks ago. It was the 17th of February, so I have some stuff that I've been collecting for a little while and some stuff that I just recently got uh, that I am very excited to share with you about. So I guess I will start out with the fashion part of this. So I did end up going to the thrift store a few days ago with my mom, and uh, we got a bunch of stuff. So while I go through this stuff, I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips if you are a first time thrifter or if you're a little bit afraid of thrifting because I know it's something that some people find a little gross, some people don't really like, and I think you can find some very unique pieces if you really look for them. The first thing that I have is this sweatshirt. This is just a Tommy Hilfiger um, sweatshirt. I don't remember how much this was, but most of these things were between, I'd say, like, 7 and $10. The next thing I got from the thrift store was this sweatshirt, and I also have another one that's similar to this that is kind of a turquoise color, but this is by the brand Telluride Clothing Co., and it's just kind of almost like a velvet sweatshirt, but it's like this dark purpley maroon color. One tip for thrifting is if you pick up a piece and think that you want to get it, first look over it for any stains, rips, or anything like that. Possible damage to the clothing because you don't want to even consider thinking about buying a piece of clothing that you know is stained and since you're not going to wear it if it's stained. So look it over for any rips, tears, stains on it. I always have my mom look over them for me because I tend to miss some of the minute details that she usually picks up on. So if I'm thrifting with my mom, then I usually uh, have her look at all the pieces before I even decide if I want to keep them or not. Then the second part of that is after you've gone through and checked over all of them for any stains or anything that could be left on them, you also want to look at each clothing piece and see yourself in an outfit. So if you can see yourself forming an outfit with that one piece incorporated in it, then I would definitely um, keep it and put it in your cart and look towards buying it. If you can't, then you're probably not ever going to wear it. And also, before you even step in the store, you wanna make sure you have your hands washed because dealing with thrift store finds can be a little bit gross. Uh, usually the smell kind of is a little bit musky and not in a good way. Um, so you want to make sure you wash your hands before and after dealing with any of the clothes. That includes bringing them home. So if you're touching them and putting them into the washer, you want to make sure you wash your hands after that because you never know where they've been. So the next thing I have is this sweatshirt told you I have a ton of sweatshirts that's mostly what the shirts that I got from the thrift store were so this is from the loft and it's just a nice blue color and it says love then also I got this sweatshirt again well sweater thing this is from the brand Arizona jeans and this is just like kind of speckled white it's a navy blue color it's very nice it's knit and this is actually a large so another tip for thrift store finds is look in sections that aren't your size because this looks like it's a small it fits me um very well sometimes they can misplace things um they can things can be improperly sized stuff like that and also if your thrift store doesn't have the sizes already like determined like um savers does then you definitely have to look through everything and even in my size i look through everything i go through every piece of clothing to see whether or not um, I would like it or not. I think that's the only way that you really can find really good stuff if you go through very, very thoroughly. The next sweater that I got is from the brand St. Johnson's Bay, and it is this one. I've already worn it, so I have like a pile of the stuff that I've already worn, but it's just this nice kind of knit, um, speckled-ish gray sweatshirt. It has a little pocket, and I thought this was really, really cute and very comfortable. So now I got some jeans. Jeans are actually a very, very good thing that you can find at the thrift store. There's always a bunch of jeans there. And I got this pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. Then I have two pairs of jeans that are the same. So again, if you find a pair of jeans that you like, they might be uh, at the thrift store with another pair. So these are the brand Sophia, Sophia Vergara. Um, 
And these are just some nice skinny jeans, one pair of black and one pair of blue jeans. Then these definitely have to be one of the favorite things that I found at the thrift store. So these are some pleather American Eagle Outfitters pants. Now these were <laughs> the most expensive thing that I got from the thrift store. But I can understand why. They had never been worn and they're from American Eagle and they are like that pleather material so they were originally $50 and I ended up getting them for $25 so half off I love these I think they're really cute they remind me of the American Apparel disco pants so I think they are a steal for what they were originally worth and then the last pair of pants that I got are these pants so they're like a nice maroon red color I think they're turning up a little bit more pink on camera from what I can tell them what they actually are but these are by the brand bullhead denim I've never heard of this brand before but I thought these were super cute and I thought I would try them out then my other pride and joy of this thrifting session were these bad boys so these are basically doc martin cheap versions i guess you could say i don't know they're dupes for the doc martin shoe so then i went to walmart the same exact day and I got a few other clothing pieces. So basically I've been looking for just comfortable sweatshirts that I can chill in in school if I'm having a bad day or at home if I don't feel like dressing up. This is just a Hanes sweatshirt. Just one of those baggy sweatshirts. So they're very soft and comfortable so I have them in this like army green color and in black and in navy blue and in reddish maroon. So those were all three dollars because they were on sale. I think they're normally like five or six dollars and then they mark them down to five and then they mark them down to three so uh, if you're looking for something to be comfortable in in the winter then i would definitely check out those at walmart those are all the fashion things that i got and now i will move on to makeup and other things so first i will talk about the kind of other miscellaneous things so i went to five below and i ended up getting this journal and it's by the brand the Jane and Beanstalk collection. I have another journal, but it's getting a little bit crowded. It's almost at the end of it, so I figured why not pick up a backup journal just in case I run out quicker than I think it will. And then I also have this journal. So this is like a leathery blue journal. It's a little bit more flimsy than that one, and it's a little bit smaller. All right, moving on to makeup, which is behind here. I actually got some stuff from Ulta. So I had a $20 gift card from Christmas from my um, cousin Molly for Ulta. So I ended up ordering some stuff there and they were having this little sale where if you bought uh, $19.95 worth of Ulta stuff then you would get a free little 15 piece set. So I ended up getting that. So the first thing that actually came in the set broke on its way in transition somewhere. It was their blush and bronzer set. So I'm not too disappointed about that because I actually ended up ordering a blush from Ulta anyways. So that didn't really, I didn't mind that. Um, but then the next thing that came in the set were these three brushes. They're kind of crappy brushes. Sorry Ulta. But this is supposed to be the contour brush. It's kind of kind of soft but not really and then this is the do eyeshadow brush I guess it's, yeah the bristles are a little hard and then this is just like the normal sponge dip brush so nothing too exciting but hey I got some of them for basically free the next thing in the set was three eyeshadow sets and I'm actually very excited about these I've tried some of the shades in these they're pretty well pigmented so this is um natural I think this is for green eyes I don't know um, this is Smoky. You're probably not even going to be able to see this. And this is Romantic. Then they have a brow kit, which I am very, very excited about. So it has just a lighter shade, a medium shade, and then a brow wax, which I don't think I've ever used. So that should be an adventure. Then I also got a Ulta Amped Lashes Volume and Defining Mascara. This is kind of just a generic mas mascara. It has a normal wand. And I don't think it does anything really that special. Then I have an Ulta Butter Balm Lip Gloss. And this is actually extremely pigmented. I was very, very surprised. Yeah, look at that. 
it's extremely pigmented so um, I don't know if this is really my color because it's kind of like a coral pink color and I don't really like pinks I don't think it goes very well with my skin tone but we'll see about that one and then I also got a also lip crayon in O I think that's the shade um, it's like an orange color which is kind of disappointing because I actually really like the formula for it so I may end up buying some of these but um, that's this one if you can even tell from this far away but it's a really really orangey color and it looks horrible horrible on me because I'm so pale so that's nah yeah nah for me sorry Ulta then I have a duo ended eyeliner pencil in black and brown which I probably will never use because I don't like pencil eyeliner then I have the color pure eyeshadow in the shade YOLO um, I really like this one actually not only because of the name but it's it's very pigmented it's very shiny so if you like matte shades I would not go for this one but um I think this is my favorite thing out of everything that I got and the last thing that um, I got for free is the Ulta nail polish in the shade peach parfait it's just a nice light pink and I think this will be useful in the summer when it's a little bit warmer and getting into more springtime colors. Then I got a blush and two lipsticks. I paid for these. So this was with my own money um, well, with the gift card. So I got the Ulta Minerals Blush in this shade Sweet Pea. That's what that color is. It's a lighter color so it'll go well with my skin tone. And then I got the Ulta, I think these are just the normal Ulta lipsticks. I love the packaging. It looks so sleek and I love that you can like see the color in the top of it. All right, well they don't have names so they just have numbers. So this is 200 and this is 241. So 241 is kind of like a dark mauve toned color and I was expecting it to be a little bit lighter but I think I actually like it a little darker. Um, and then the other one is just a deep, so 200 is a deep red. So this is 200 and this is 241. Sorry, I did a little bit bigger swatch on 200, but I really like both of the shades and I think they're pretty wearable for me. They're more of a winter shade though because they are a little bit darker. Okay, so then I found some other stuff at Five Below. So this was the only other thing that I got from Five Below, but this is the Wet n Wild Mega Clear Mascara. So I got clear mascara to use as brow gel because my e.l.f. brow gel, although it was very wonderful and I've used uh, both sides of it, it did not last at all. It has not lasted that long. So I figure if I get a mascara, it'll probably last a little bit longer. Don't know if I'm going to like this or not. I was going to go for the Great Lash Lots of Lashes Clear Mascara, but then I found this at Five Below and it was a lot cheaper. So we'll see. Maybe I'll go to that one after I finish this one. Then at Walmart, I got some CoverGirl Mascara. I did not realize it was water resistant until I looked at it now. Then I also got the Maybelline Cover Stick in Fair, which is the lightest shade. Love this stuff to conceal blemishes. Not under eyes though. I don't like it under eyes because it creases. Um, but other than that, it's great for concealing blemishes. Then I got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark under eyes, I guess this is. I have the normal version that's just the Instant Age Rewinder for like concealing under eyes, but they didn't have that one in my shade and this one was in Fair, so I decided I would try this out since I do love the other one. So I also got these three little packets of face masks. So the first one is the Freeman's Be Feeling Beautiful Diamond Mineral Rinse yeah. Mask. So then I have the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Honeydew and Chamomile yeah. Sleeping Mask. This one's a little weird. You put it on before you go to bed and it's yeah. supposed to be very hydrating and stuff like that. But there is a full size of this so if I like it I'm definitely going to buy the full size. I just don't know where, where it's from because I couldn't find it in the Walmart that I went to. And then there's also this um, Freeman's Feeling Beautiful Pomegranate Revealing Peel Off Mask. So this is another one that you can get in the full size. And I'd love to get this one because I love the um, Cucumber Peeling Off Mask. I love peeling off masks. So, um, and I love pomegranates. So, yeah. And I needed some conditioner because I have 
two shampoos and one of these conditioners and it annoys me that I don't have a conditioner for every shampoo that I have so I had to get another one of these um, I've been trying this out I've been really liking this uh, brand of shampoo and it is the everlasting ends Pantene fortifying conditioner and it's supposed to prevent 95% of split ends so then I got some of these fake nails so these are the kiss fake nails they are like the ones that you glue onto your nails yourself so I figured these are the clear ones they don't have any French tips they don't have anything on them so I thought hey might as well get these because sometimes I don't want to just do French tips and I want to do something else so I figured I could paint over them if I wanted to and do whatever I wanted to with them so these are 200 nails I believe are in here I got the Biore free your pores deep cleansing pore strips there are eight in these and i just really like pore strips they're awesome so one of the last things that i got was a loofah because i have a loofah but it's getting kind of gross i think that's probably time for me to switch out my loofahs so this one is just blue and it matches my bathroom and it matches my room and it matches my whole entire life because i love blue so yeah and the last thing that I physically have with me is the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. I got this from Walmart. This stuff is amazing. I've used it a few times. Um, yeah, I've kind of used it if you didn't even see that. Uh, I haven't made any sort of dent into it yet, though. This stuff is going to last me freaking forever. So there are two things that I got that I do not physically have with me right now. So my aunt gave me a $40... Um, Amazon gift card for my birthday. Thank you to my aunt Janice and uncle Russ for that So I got um, a Necklace which will hopefully be in a picture right here. So that is my zodiac sign. I'm an Aquarius So I figured hey, I really like that uh, Necklace I want to buy it. So I got that and then I also got a set of brushes so they are the BH cosmetics like paint artist set I think that's what they are they're like 10 piece brushes and I've heard that they're really soft and stuff like that so I wanted to get those so those should be right here so this is a pictures you know of both of those things so um they were supposed to come today but I think they're coming later today and I wanted to film this video now so there there they are I got those too I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. My last video will be over here and my last vlog will be over here. Again, trying to get back into vlogging. Don't know when it's gonna happen, but I'm trying. I promise I'm trying. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed the thrifting part of it. I hope you enjoyed the other parts of it. And I hope my tips helped out some of you beginner thrifters or people who are a little afraid to do thrifting. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.